Hi, my name is Kevin Troianos with SnareScience.com. Today we're going to be breaking down the Ataflam exercise. Okay, so before we get started, what we're going to want to do is identify and isolate the two main skill sets that we're going to be using in this exercise. Now here, those are going to be flam accents and single-handed flams. If we really break it down and isolate those basic skill sets, not only will we learn the piece quicker in the long run, but we'll learn it much more correct. Um, I'm actually going to link you guys right here to Ryan's video um, on snarescience.com that goes through and breaks down the flam accent in great detail. Okay, so now what we're going to do is go through and isolate those single-handed flams. Now, really the key to success here is to realize that when we're playing these single-handed flams, we're just playing eights. Um, but we're playing eights with double stops at two heights simultaneously. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to create an exercise that really isolates the fact that we're playing a high height legato stroke and a low height legato stroke at the same time. Okay, so now that we've gone through and broken down those basic skills that we need for this exercise, we're going to go through and separate out the exercise into five parts. We're going to call them the ones, the twos, the threes, the fours, and the fives. Okay, so first we're going to do the ones, and those are pretty easy because they're just flam accents. Okay, so let's just play through the flam accents. to focus a little bit more on two things. Now one is to keep both of those accents right at the same height. And then the second part is to not rush the flam accent coming afterwards. Now a huge tendency is, is going to be to rush through that flam accent because we're changing heights. Don't do that. On the threes, everything applies that we used on the twos. Okay, we want to make sure that we maintain a good legato stroke on those two accents, as well as making sure that we maintain time on the flam accent that comes right after. Now, don't get too caught up on the timing here. The pulse will change, the feel will change, but the timing should not. Okay, so now the fours. Now the fours are going to start getting a little choppy. Your left hand is going to want to get a little bit behind here. It actually takes some chops to play these legato strokes. And you're thinking to yourself, well, we broke it down before and it's just eights. That's the importance of eights. The importance of eights is to be able to play through these, these big accented passages in time consistently. Okay, so let's play through these fours and really, really focus on maintaining that high accent, keeping those grace notes down, and maintaining good timing throughout. Now the fives, everything from the fours apply. We need to make sure that we're, one, maintaining that good, solid, consistent legato stroke. Two, we want to make sure that that grace note stays low. And three, we need to push through on the legato stroke. The way we're going to do that is not to just really push, but to relax. If you stay nice and relaxed, make sure you maintain that height, you're going to be in good shape.
Okay, so let's review. What did we do? First, we broke it down into the basic skill sets that the exercise utilizes, and then we broke those basic skill sets down even further. Then what we did was we broke the exercise down into its key phrases and focused on each one individually. Now, the last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna play the exercise all the way through at slow tempos and then build up to faster tempos. If you're one of these guys who takes this exercise as fast as they can the first time playing it through, you're really doing yourself a disservice and it's actually gonna take longer to learn it that way. The quickest, most efficient way of learning something is to break it down at slow tempos and then slowly build up. You will learn it faster, I promise. you enjoyed today's lesson. Um, I hope you learned a little bit about how to break an exercise down and then build it back up. I ask you to check out my YouTube page at youtube.com slash OPTSYN. You just click on this link right here. Make sure you check out snarescience.com for more videos coming up. There should be a lot of good stuff this summer. And uh, keep drumming.